The local family is holding a special 4th of July celebration today for a different kind of independence. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares how getting the gift of life gives one woman freedom to give back. She was known as the woman on the billboards to many of us. When we first met Linda McGrain in the hospital last fall, she not only needed a living kidney donor. I, I need life. <laughs> she needed one quickly. So ever the advocate, her husband Bill, also put out the plea in his homeowner's magazine. Michael and Vicki Noyes, new neighbors, read that plea. We get a Facebook message saying, do you still need a kidney? Right before Christmas. Michael, who actually had to drive by one of Linda's billboards on his way to work every day, decided he would be tested to see if he was a match to be Linda's living kidney donor. And then Easter Sunday, a knock at the door. Michael walked into Linda's home and changed her world for the rest of her life. Not only did they become fast friends, they became what he says is sort of part of a miracle. When Michael walked into Linda's home that day, she had no idea what he was about to say. When he said it, it came out and sounded like this. I'm a match. I'm going to donate a kidney. He came to our house and surprised us that he was actually the donor. After much celebration and a discovery that Michael and Vicki not only had recently been moved from out of town into their own neighborhood. We were stunned and completely grateful. and. Um, just awed at the way God put it all together. Michael got prepped for surgery and donated a kidney to Linda just about eight weeks ago. Both are still in recovery and both are still in awe of how they say God put it all together. It's a great thing that we were able to give her the gift. He gave me life, you know, he gave me, he really literally gave me life. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a miracle. But the miracle of life may just be the beginning. I love you so much. <laughs> Cheers. You see, Michael says he didn't know why they were moved there from a longtime home far away to a neighborhood where they didn't actually know anyone. To the kidney transplant. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Thank us all Lord together. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. amen. In the end, he says, he understands a whole lot more now because you see he didn't just give up a kidney he gained a lifelong friendship one for which linda can only say i'm just forever grateful in union liz bonus local 12 news ah oh, nice well if you would like to become a living donor we have a link to the national kidney foundation at local 12.com you can remain anonymous and even if you are a match for someone you are under no obligation to 